Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 47 of our course. And in this lecture, we will study the basic structure of interrupt programming, or you can say in the, the basic steps which are involved in interrupt programming. So let's start our lecture. Okay, this is the basic structure of any interrupt programming, especially in PK F microcontroller, right? So uh, actually our code starts from here and we can't finish here. So there is a second part of this code. So we will continue from here and we will start from here. This is the second part, then we will finish over here and then we will continue from this point and it, finally it ends here, right? So this is the continuity of uh, the code, right? But overall program can be broken into three different parts, right? Uh, the one part which is normally we write in simple programming which is called the main task of microcontroller right so this uh, specific portion is basically the main task right uh, i have also written here the main task it starts normally with the memory address originate to a we write some codes and micro perform microcontroller performs some task right uh, but in intra programming we have two other parts available one part is known as interrupt vector table Intra vector table actually includes reset vector, high priority interrupts, and low priority interrupts addresses, right? Reset vector means where, uh, whenever you going to turn on the microcontroller IC, so it will uh, open his eyes in, in this specific area. That is why it is called restart or reset vector, right? And you will be at the location 00, zero hex, right? Uh, but normally we write uh, at originate 2A, right? That means we are writing in uh, program memory at the address of 2a hacks right and then we wrote some code and then it will finish somewhere here right but these uh, the ad the address range between the reset vector and the originate 2a is not used it is basically used for one important person which is called interrupt vector table what is interrupt vector table interrupt vector table is basically uh, enlistment of all possible interrupts right so uh, we have two diff two other addresses which are dedicated and which are very important one is known as 08 hacks so you know you see that originate 08 hacks is written it shows uh, whatever the data which will be placed on 08 hacks and it is higher priority interrupts right and similarly you have originate one head 18 hacks which means it will show the things which are going to place at this address, which is 18 hacks, and this is dedicated for low priority interrupts, right? What is high priority interrupt? What is low priority interrupt? Uh, uh, we are going to answer it, but there are uh, there is one thing which we need to know. What is interrupt itself? So we know that these are just high priority and low priority interrupts, and these are just addresses of what addresses of service routines, different service routines. So. One of the service routine is mentioned here in this third part. So this third part is nothing but the definitions of interrupts or interrupt service routines, right? So what happened when interrupt programming microcontroller is performing their main task and uh, suddenly one interrupts uh, appears and disturb its normal routine. So what is going to happen? Microcontroller will actually finish its current instruction execution and saves the address of next instruction into the stake. We have already covered uh, stake programming in, uh, in microcontroller. So one thing which is known as stake and uh, what is going to happen, the next address, for example, microcontroller was performing uh, the task on this instruction, this is specific instruction. So it will finish this one. And this is the next instruction, right? This one. So address of this, let's say its address is what zero to. So what is going to happen? Its address is going to store in uh, stake, right? So uh, address is present here in a stake and what is going to happen now it will switch to the interrupt vector table so my microcontroller will leave the main program and it will switch to this interrupt vector table and here it will first of all check whether the interrupt which has interrupted this microcontroller uh, is from higher priority interrupts or from lower priority interrupts so it th this interrupt vector table is basically list of uh, so many interrupts available so it will check one by one, uh, first it will go to higher priority interrupts. That means it will go to 08 hacks address and then check whether uh, these, uh, these, these interrupts have interrupted microcontroller or not. And then if these interrupts are not found, then it will go to low priority interrupt, which is 
which are present on one eight hacks, right? Then it will go uh, by one by one through each low priority interrupts. And if one of those interrupts, right, may appear in high priority interrupt or it may happen in low priority uh, low priority interrupts, but one of these interrupts will be will will be one of those interrupts which have interrupted the microcontroller. So, what is going to happen uh, once it will detect? Okay, this is specific uh, interrupt is the interrupt which interrupted microcontroller. We have to go to the service routine or we have to serve that interrupt, right? So, what is going to happen? We will have an address uh, of interrupt service routine which is normally uh, after the main code so what is going to happen we will switch from this portion to this portion right interrupt service routine and here we will serve that request whatever the request uh, given by interrupt or whatever the demand to, uh, demanded by interrupt we have to uh, serve that demand or we have to serve that request and then we will complete uh, run this program which is interrupt service routine itself right and when we will finish it, we will come back to main code. And how we will come back to main code, the stake, stake, we will actually retrieve the last address of the next instruction. Remember, we we will retrieve this instruction and we will come back to this instruction, we will, uh, which we were actually executing before interrupt program. So this is the normal flow of uh, interrupt service programming or, or which we are going to follow in microcontroller. Pick 18 F452. Okay, that's it from this lecture. If you have any confusion or questions, please pose them in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.